Hello, people. Now, how's all doing? Today, we're back talking about a local issue in Beltoba in Bombay in County Cabin. <laughs> and it's to do with two sectors schools, St. Uh, Brickens and St. Margaret's uh, College uh, in Beltoba and Bombay. One in Beltoba and one in Bombay. And these are two small towns. Beltoba is bigger, bigger than Bombay, but they have huge amounts of children. Go. They don't have huge, like Dublin school or, say, absolute. Tower, big town school, but they have a good few people. And St. Brickens have tablets and high, very high tech school. And I, I support them 110%. And I, and I admire what Brenda Smith said about about the day. And that people are very angry about it in the villages. He's on the ground, he's a local TD, Fina 4 TD. And he's on the ground and he's talking to them and he's getting their opinion and he knows exactly what, what they want. They don't want any. No school to close. They don't want any of them. They don't want one school. Like, they often they build one school for the two. They get rid of the two schools, if you get what I'm saying. So just one school. Save the cost. Like, uh, one big problem I have with this is what are you going to do? You get rid of the two schools, right? What are you going to do? You're going to knock the buildings down that's cost maybe 10 million for one of them. And then maybe another 10 million for the other. That's 20 million of taxpayers' money. What are you going to do with the building? Just keep them there. And let them rot away, or what he's gonna do with them? Like, it's very, it's very fine and dandy saying that you're gonna build a big new school and it's gonna be very fancy and everything. But these people have to travel. These people, some people might not even have a car to go into Ballycano. This is where it's gonna be. Ballycano is a good long distance away from Beltop. It's not that far away from Bombay, but Bally, Bum, Bally, Bally, what? Uh, Beltop is a long way away from uh, Ballycano, but it is, it's a hard distance. Even if. You know, and then you had to pay for maybe buses going to uh, to go to Ballycon. Like, it's a joke. Like, keep the schools where they are for now. Like, they've been here for a long time now. Why would you just change it now? Like, it's... I don't get it. I really don't get it. And there's no there's no problems. I don't see any problems. I was chatting to somebody from Safe Workings and the other college as uh, students. And they don't, they don't see any problems. There's no problems. The teachers are doing their usual things. And there's, not, there's nothing to say that the school... Are. Is doing something wrong that they shouldn't be doing, but there's nothing. There's nothing there. It's just because the government, the local authorities, and the Department of Education want to be ignorant, and just want to be a nuisance for people. That's really the only thing they want to do. I just, I don't. It's just, it's this thing, where we have to. It's quite. It's quite a bit said it in all the sound of, the people are very angry. But I, I'm very, very angry. It's not near the water, but I admire him for saying it. I absolutely admire Brendan Swift for saying that. He said it openly out that the people are very annoyed. Which is very, very true. But I would have said, that if I was speaking at the radio, that people were absolutely gutted and outraged. And people would literally boycott the Department of Education that said the children to school. Like, that's really what I would do if I was in Brendan Smith's case. I'd be like, you know what we do? We just boycott this, the whole the Department of Education and the ETB, the Cavan Education Board. Um... We can't have modern education, but we just boycott them. We, did, uh, we get public attention all over the country and we cost an absolute work or so under the Department <laughs> of Education. Like, that's what I would do. I would just say to the two schools, do you know what we do? We just close the schools and we just stand outside and do fuck all and just sit there for nine hours and just get public attention, you know? Like, something like that. Something that are just... They're young people. Like, it's, as I said to somebody, it doesn't matter if we... Went outside to the hours, uh, hours a new to one, and we went up to Leicester House and started protesting on that. The young people, the school community, like there's 400 that I think say, 300 that's up in the St. Brickets, and then there's 200 that say, Bam Button Bam Boy School. Like if they went out, let's just say, if they went up to, let's just say, Leicester House, you know, they had to get more attention than adults going up because, you know, young people. You usually don't really care much. I don't think... I, like, you have to understand that um, before we look at anything else. No, but uh, what I would do in my advice to the education, to the Save the Schools, I can't remember, Save the Brickets, Save, break it, save it, uh, save Mar- Margaret's College, um, I would say to them, that's, that's, I give the Twitter account out of the description, but I would say to the... Uh, do it for two or three weeks. Just absolutely throw everything in. Live, throw all the books and just walk outside and sit outside and sit to the Department of Education. You could have to come down here and do something about this. Because we won't teach. The teachers should just sit outside the school along with the students and just sit there for the whole day. 
and literally just boycott the Department of Education and the ETB and just absolutely annoy them. Like, that's what really annoyed them. If you just go outside and just stand there and do absolutely nothing, and then just cause an ap a absolutely workers around the whole place, and just get loads of public attention. Like, I would just cause a workers, I would just stand in the middle of the road outside the school and just <laughs> sit down and, you know, get attention. That's how, that's one thing you need for editing. You need to get attention for the subjects and the things. I know that might sound a bit uh, dictatorshipish, but um, that's how things get really done now. Unless you prove a point, like the Department of Education and the ETB, the cabinet, they didn't know that these people won't do anything if the schools are closed. They won't, they'd like to give out all the what. That's the way they look at it. But at the end of the day, what are they going to do about it? Like, are they going to go up to the hours and start breaking every window and now it's a neutral one? Like, they, they don't want this. They don't think anybody's going to do anything about it. Nobody's going to stand for them. Nobody's going to stand with the people. But if you stand, if you stand formally against them and stand with absolutely determination that you will not close the school and just keep saying that to yourself, then eventually they just have to back down because they won't. It's the same with any corporation or any company or any government. If you put enough pressure on them, even any board of education or department of education, if you put pressure on them, you put absolutely huge pressure on them and you just keep saying it over and over again, you will not close our local schools. They have to give in at some stage. They're not going to fight forever about it. You know, like, I don't... I really don't get it. And that's really the thing. I don't get it. Like, all of a sudden, they're just like... You know what we do last year? Coming into the end of last year. They were just like, you know what we do? We're just going to build one big school and get... And get rid of these two schools. I don't know what we're going to do with them. we just get rid of them. Yeah, it, like, it's... It's mad, but what can you do? Um, as I say, but it, that'd be my recommendation. Just to sit outside in the middle of the world. Outside the school and just... Uh, Cause the workers, that's already the only thing I want to say. What I mean by workers, just stand out there and just go and do videos on the internet and just say, we will not teach our, the teachers and the students to say, we will not go into our school if it's going to close in a month or two time. And we're just going to sit out here now until the Department of Education recognises that we're out here. You know, that's something I would do. If I was the principal, I'd cause an after workers, but, you know, <laughs> if I was the principal, it would be very... Democratically great school, but anyway, what can you do? Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe more and bye.